May the peace, the love, and the grace of God be with you all. I'd like to salute my family, the brethren in Jamaica, our division and the general conference. Send their greetings. And I hope I can take back your greetings with you. May God bless you. The theme for this conference is victory in Jesus. This time let us bow our heads for pride. Gracious Father in heaven, as we come before you, speak to our hearts, O Lord, your words. And as we listen to you, we will come closer to you and will understand your purpose for our lives. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 The Lord has been good to us. El Señor ha sido bueno con nosotros. And He has given us another day, another beautiful Sabbath. Y nos ha dado otro día, otro maravilloso sábado. That we can gather here in His house to worship Him. Para que podamos reunirnos en su casa y adorarle. Every one of us are fighting a battle. Cada uno de nosotros está peleando una batalla. And many times we don't understand who we are fighting. Y muchas veces no entendemos a quién peleamos. And what we are fighting about. Y, con, y de qué estamos peleando. And many times we are fighting the wrong, the wrong battle. Y muchas veces estamos peleando la batalla equivocada. We're in the wrong fight. Estamos en una pelea, pelea equivocada. And many times we end up losing. Y muchas veces terminamos perdiendo. But I hope this morning. Pero espero que en esta mañana. The Lord will help us to understand what is our fight. El Señor nos ayuda a entender cuál es nuestra pelea. And what is not our fight. Y cuál no es nuestra pelea. According to our Bible verse, the, the team verse, it's 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57. De acuerdo con nuestro versículo lema, que está en 1 Corintios 15, 57. But thanks be to God. Las gracias sean dadas a Dios. Which give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Que nos da la victoria por medio de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. This word victory means defending or defeating an enemy. Esta palabra victoria significa derrotar a un enemigo. At this present time in France they are having the Olympics. En este momento, en Francia están teniendo las Olimpiadas. And many flags are waving. Y muchas banderas están oleando. And many people with their country, like mine, when we win the race, y muchas personas, cuando su país, como el mío, gana una carrera, the people take to the street. La gente se va a la calle. And we beat y la gente anything. We beat the drums. They get the pots, the pot covers, and they beat them together. And there's a lot of noise. Because they have won. Can we beat our pot covers that we have won in Jesus Christ? We must rejoice. Because indeed we have the victory in Jesus Christ. The battle is over. Two thousand years ago, Jesus came to this world. He came into the enemy's camp. Because Satan claimed that this world belongs to him. God had created man perfect and holy. According to Genesis 1 and verse 26, and also verse 27, God created man in his image after his likeness. Dios creó al hombre en su imagen, de acuerdo a su semejanza. So you and I, at the beginning, was created upright. Entonces tú y yo somos. We were, we were righteous. Al comienzo éramos justos. We were in the image of God, not only outward but inward. Estábamos hechos de acuerdo a la imagen de Dios. We were perfect. Éramos perfectos. And God saw everything and He said, "Behold, it was very good." 
y Dios vio todo y dijo que todo estaba bien. The servant of the Lord said, la sierva del Señor dice, God was to be, man was to be a God's image. Nos dice que el hombre había de llevar la imagen de Dios. Both outward resemblance and inward. Tanto en la semejanza exterior como en el carácter. We resemble God Nosotros in our character, in our image. Tenemos semejanza a Dios en nuestro carácter, en nuestra imagen. Christ, she said, alone is the express image of God, the solo, Father. Solo Cristo, dice ella, es la misma imagen del Padre. But you and I was formed in the likeness of God. Pero el hombre fue creado a semejanza de Dios. Our nature, she said, was in harmony with the will of God. Nuestra naturaleza, dice ella, estaba en armonía con la voluntad. So we were in harmony with the Ten Commandments. Estábamos en armonía con los diez mandamientos. Our appetites, our reasoning were on the subjection. Nuestros apetitos, nuestras pasiones estaban bajo el dominio de la razón. Our mind, she said, was capable of coming, um, comprehending divine things. Ella dice que nuestra mente era capaz de comprender cosas divinas. She said, our appetites were pure. Dice que nuestros apetitos eran puros. Our affection was also pure. Nuestras eh, pasiones también eran puras. Our passions were under divine control. Y que nuestras pasiones estaban bajo el dominio divino. We were happy and holy. Éramos felices y santos. Bearing the image of God. Llevando la imagen de Dios. And in perfect obedience to His will. Y en obediencia perfecta a la voluntad del Padre. We were in lofty Stature. We were very tall, not like me here. We were healthy. There was no knee problems. There was no arthritis. There was no diabetes. None of these sicknesses existed. We were not clothed with artificial garments. No teníamos ropa artificial. We were covered with light. Estábamos cubiertos con luz. Just like the angels. Así como los ángeles. And as long as we remain obedient, she said. Y ella dice, y mientras permanecimos obedientes. This light will continue to surround us. Esta luz continúa rodeando. And you can find this in Patriarchs and Prophet, page 45. Pueden encontrar este párrafo en Patriarchs. But what will happen to us? ¿Qué sucedió con nosotros? We have lost all of this. Hemos perdido todo esto. Man has sinned. El hombre. And we have come short of the glory of Nosotros God. Nosotros quedamos cortos de la gloria de Dios. Not only have we sinned and come short of the glory of God. No solo quedamos cortos de la gloria de Dios. But death was pronounced upon us. Sino que la muerte fue pronunciada sobre nosotros. Because death, sin and death are twin brothers. Porque el pecado y la muerte son hermanos gemelos. Wherever there is sin, there is death. A donde sea que haya pecado y muerte. The day thou eat of this tree, thou shalt surely die. El día que comieres de este árbol, morirás. And our mother Eve. Y nuestra madre Eva. She was deceived. Ella fue engañada. She thought that she would get higher. She would become like God. Ella pensó que si ella comía iba a llegar a ser como Dios. Not knowing that she was ready, already in the image and the likeness of God. No sabiendo que ella era creada la imagen de Dios. Not knowing that the day she eat of it, she will degrade, not evolve into a better human being. Y no sabía que el día que comía se iba a degradar y no iba a ser mejor. And because of that, death passed upon this world. Y por causa de esto, la muerte pasó a este mundo. Because we all have sinned, according to Romans 5 and verse 12. Porque todos pecamos, de acuerdo con Romanos. But thank God, this is not the end of our story. Pero gracias a Dios, este no es el final de nuestra historia. For God so loved the world. Porque de tal manera amó Dios al mundo. And he gave his only begotten son. Que dio su Hijo unigénito. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Para que todo aquel que en él crea no se pierda más tenga vida. So 2,000 years ago, someone came into our existence. Alguien vino a nuestra existencia. Jesus came into this world. Jesús vino a nuestro mundo. The creator of heaven and earth. El creador del cielo y la tierra. The one who made all things. El que hizo todas las cosas. Because without him was nothing made that was made. Porque todo fue hecho por él. In the beginning he was with God. Y en el comienzo él estaba con Dios. And all things were created by him. 
y todas las cosas fueron creadas por Our él. Creator came into this world as a man. Nuestro creador vino a este mundo como hombre. To deliver us from the power of sin. Para liberarnos del pecado. And to give us eternal life. Y darnos vida eterna. So through Jesus Christ we have the victory over sin. A través de Jesucristo tenemos victoria. And because we have the victory over sin we also have the victory over death. Y porque tenemos victoria sobre el pecado también tenemos victoria. One day, Un día, Jesus was told se le dijo a Jesús, that his friend Lazarus was sick. Que su amigo Lázaro estaba enfermo. And Jesus died. He was going from Bethany to he was going to Jerusalem. Y Jesús iba de Betania a Jerusalén. And on his way to Jerusalem, he asked to pass through Bethany, y en where his friend lived. Jesús a Jerusalén tenía que pasar por Betania. This was the home that Jesus was comforted when he went. To the house of Lazarus, he was comfortable. He could be himself. He didn't have to worry what he would say and not say. Because he was among friends. And he heard that he was sick come to death. And Jesus did not move from where he was. He tired for four days. And then he told his disciples, I am going to see my friend Lazarus. He told them that Lazarus is dead. And the disciples, they were shocked. How could this be? You heard that he was sick. Why you didn't you go? You waited until he's dead. But there's something about our God that we don't understand. Because God has a great plan. Because he wants to show to the world that he is the resurrection and the life. And after four days he turned up at the house of Lazarus. The home of Lazarus. And Martha went out to meet him. And I could see this lady. She's going to meet Jesus. And I see her with her finger if you were here. My brother would not have died. Where were you? And Jesus said to her, Martha, Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Your brother will live again. Because in I have the power over death. Yo tengo poder sobre la and the reason why Jesus had the power over death because he has the power over sin. He said the devil come and he found nothing in me. El vino y no nada en él. Which one of you can convince me of sin? That's what Jesus said. Because he did not sin. He came into Satan's camp and he bound him. He, de he delivered humanity from the devil. So in Jesus Christ, you and I are already victorious. This victory is not tomorrow. This victory is already delivered to us. And all we need to do is to accept this victory by faith. Jesus' life and victory over sin is for you and for me. How many of us are fighting? And we are losing. Why? Why are you still battling with sin? Why are you still fighting to control your appetite? Why do we allow passion to take control of us? Allow our animal propensities to have swayed over our mind. I want to talk to you real this Sabbath morning. There are things that affect the church of God, the people of God. And the reason for that is that many times we don't understand that we are victorious in Jesus Christ. 
es que tenemos que entender que tenemos victoria en Jesús. And many times we believe we have to follow our evil inclination. Y muchas veces creemos que tenemos que seguir nuestras inclinaciones malvadas. And the desire to satisfy my sexual desires. Y el deseo de satisfacer mis deseos sexuales. Is the sin that easily beset the people of God. Es un pecado que eh, la daña al pueblo de Dios. Because they don't believe they are victorious in Jesus Porque no Christ. hemos creído que somos victoriosos en Jesucristo. Jesus Christ is your victory. Jesucristo es tu victoria. And his victory is yours. Y su victoria es tuya. You need to accept it. Tienes que aceptarla. You need to believe it. Tienes que creerla. And you need to live it out in your life. Y necesitas vivirla en tu vida. And I know you might ask me, Brother Gawi, how is this possible? I've been fighting all my life. ¿Cómo es esto posible? He estado peleando toda mi vida. You must believe that God is the creator of heaven and earth. Tienes que creer que Dios es el creador del cielo y la tierra. And the one who is the creator is your redeemer. Y tu redentor. The same God who said, "Let there be light," and there was light. El mismo Dios que dijo, sea la luz. Is the same one who, who died on the cross to set you free from sin. Es el mismo que murió en la cruz para darte libertad. And Jesus Christ showed us that when the man of leprosy came to him. Y Jesús nos demostró eso cuando el hombre leproso vino a él. This man and leprosy represents sin. Este hombre con letra representa el pecado. Jesus came down from the mount. Jesús descendió. And the crowd was with him. Great okay. multitude, the Bible says. La multitud estaba con él. Una more than you, more than us that are here today. Más de los que estamos aquí hoy. And this man. Este hombre. In his heart. En su corazón. I want to be healed. Quiero ser sanado. But he had this deadly sickness. Pero él tenía esta enfermedad mortal. He was declared unclean. Él fue declarado impuro. He should have nothing to do with human beings anymore. Él no tenía que acercarse a los seres humanos. But in his heart, I want to see Jesus. Pero en su corazón decía, quiero ver a Jesús. You and I today must want to see Jesus. Tú y yo hoy día queremos ver a Jesús. Because he is your victory over sin. Porque él es tu victoria sobre el pecado. When you are tempted, you must say, I want to see Jesus. Cuando seas tentado, di, quiero ver a Jesús. When your sinful nature wants to come forth, say, I want to. And if when your neighbor said, "Oh, you're too wicked and bad, you cannot change," tell them, "I want to see Jesus." Because Jesus Christ is my victory. He had made it possible for me to say no to sin. So this man went up to Jesus. All the disciples and the others were giving him way. Because the stench was too much. Because his body was being decayed. The flesh was leaving his body. And he said, "I want to see Jesus." And he came up to Jesus. And he's going against the law of Moses. Because the law of Moses said that he's unclean; he should be away from society. The, the laws of Moses said that anyone who touched him become unclean. But greater than Moses was among men. The deliverer was among them. And he came. And he hold on Jesus. And I can see the disciples. Oh. Ooh, this is wrong. He's violated the laws of Moses. And this man looked up in the faces, the face of Jesus. And out of his mouth he said, "Will thou make me clean?" And all of a sudden. Y de repente, there's a voice that is melodious and deep. Se escucha una voz melodiosa. Like many waters. Como de muchas aguas. The voice of God speaking to this man. La voz de Dios hablando a este hombre. And the voice said, "I will." Amen. Y la voz dijo, "Quiero." Be all clean. Se limpio. And he did something else. Y dijo algo más. He reached out his hands. Él levantó su mano. And I can see Peter saying, "What on earth is he doing?" I need to hold back his hands. And he touched him. And the Bible tells us. Right away. That man was healed. 
And in the desire of ages, Sister White wrote that this man get a body like a baby. He was completely clean. His life was renewed because somebody touched him. And that man is Jesus Christ. That same Jesus is at the right hand of our Father today. And you can have that victory over sin because in him there is victory. Are you too sinful to have salvation? No. There's some who believe, I commit the unpardonable sin. That's good to think you commit the unpardonable sin because you are on the track to go to heaven. People who commit the unpardonable sin don't believe they're sinful. So if in your heart you believe you're a sinner, you're on the road to eternal life. Because the Holy Spirit is still speaking to you. And there's hope in Jesus Christ. He's your victory, brothers and sisters. The life you live on earth, who you believe you live it for? For himself? No, for you and for me. And he has given to us as a gift. And all we need to do is to accept it by faith. And when we accept it by faith, we live it out in our daily lives. So when you are tempted, you can look straight to the devil in his face and say, get behind me. You can say to yourself, I'm not going to obey you today. You are a loser. I am on the winner's side. I am on the side of Jesus. Because he had given me victory over myself. Let us turn our Bibles now to our Bible text. 1 Corinthians 15. Verse. You know the Bible verse. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 57. And I want you to look at these verses. From verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. And here is the mystery. Not all will sleep, but all will be transformed. En un momento, en un abrir y cerrar de ojos, a la final trompeta, porque se tocará la trompeta y los muertos serán resucitados incorruptibles y nosotros seremos transformados. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Porque es necesario que esto corruptible se vista de incorrupción y esto mortal se vista de inmortalidad. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the same that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. This is one of the things that we all are afraid of. We don't want to die. No queremos morir. Whatever. Some people would like to die, but I can tell you I don't want to die. I want to live. And live forever. Do you know that God's people are pure life? We, we believe that you have life for how long? Forever. Not only in this world. But in the world to come. 
sino en el mundo por venir. I am looking for a billion years to be alive. Estamos, eh, eh, vamos a estar millones, trillion years still living. Millones de años. And living as God lives and God cannot die. Y viviendo como Dios vive, Dios no muere. That's the hope we have. So we all are afraid of death. Right? We don't want to die. And let me tell you, you go to the doctor. And the doctor said you have certain problems. What are you going to do? If you tell him to take 20, certain medication, you're going to take it. You're going to do all of this because you want to still be alive. But do you know we have life already? Life is given to us through Jesus Christ. He that has the Son of Life. And this life is eternal life. And it began not in heaven. Here today, when we accept Jesus as our Son. So a day is coming when we're going to put on immortality. We are going to put it on. It means that it is already there waiting for us. God has given us eternal life in the person of Jesus Christ. He died. But on the third day, the angel came down from heaven and he said, Jesus, Thy Father called it thee. And as he said that Jesus came out of the tomb and said, I am the resurrection and the life. Before his death, he said, I have the power to lay down my life and I have the power to take it out. This life that Jesus has is given to us also as a gift. And one day those who serve the Lord will receive eternal life. Death will be no more. God is going to kill death. Do you know that? Death will die. It will be no more. God's people will live in eternal youth forever. I hope the day will come when I throw this away. <laughs> and I hope the day I get a little taller because I really want to get a little taller. <laughs> because I want to eat from the tree of life. <laughs> and I want all these wrinkles to go away. <laughs> and the grays to become black. <laughs> and all of this is promised to me by Jesus Christ. Because I'm going to be changed, the Bible said. In a, and I will have a glorious body. You will have a glorious body. And all of this is a gift, believe me. It is already purchased and packaged and put down for you. And by faith you can claim it. You know they have these preachers telling people to claim this, claim that, and all of that nonsense. Claim car, claim houses. No, we don't claim those things. We need to claim eternal life that is in Jesus Christ. We need to claim the victory over sin. Because we know when we get rid of sin, we have eternal life. Because sin brings death. Righteousness brings life. So when I have Jesus, I am covered with his righteousness. See, do you know what I have? I have then? I have eternal life. Death is swallowed up in victory. And then verse 55 said, Oh, death, where is thy sting? It's gone, no more. Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Verse 56. The sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is the law. And this is our theme verse. But thanks be to God. 
that given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ so you have the victory over sin and over death in Jesus Christ or through Jesus Christ so when you have Jesus you have righteousness and you have life it's complete in Jesus, brothers and sisters. Young people, it is finished in Jesus. You can live a holy life daily. You can say no to your sinful desires. You can look into the devil in his face and get behind me. I'm not going to follow you today. Because I'm following Jesus. I have a friend. His name is Jesus. He is my defender. Listen, brothers and sisters. From the time Adam sinned, Satan has power over human beings. He believes he is in control. For a thousand years after the fall of man, someone turned up into this world. And the battle to show who is in control. The God. For 33 years, the devil tried Jesus. But on the cross, he said, It is finished. It is over. He said, Father, into that hand. I commit my spirit. What happened? Three days after. He came from the grave. Why? Because he did not sin. He had the victory over sin. He had the victory over death. And that is given to us. As a gift. Accept it. Acéptalo. I know many times I say Christianity is hard. <coughs> That's a lie. Don't believe it. Eso es una mentira, no la creas. It is hard because we don't believe. Es duro porque no creemos. Do you understand that? Entendemos eso. My yoke is easy, he said. Y was fácil. And my burden is light. When we surrender to Jesus, nos a Jesús, it is done. Está hecho. It is finished. Se Jesus won the battle for us. Jesús ganó la por but he wanted us to also to win too, brothers and sisters. Pero que ganemos, hermano, Will you trust him today? Vamos a en el hoy? Will we trust the G Jesus to lead us? Vamos a so we have victory in Jesus. And, in, and just I just go to the, the last verse, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Así que, hermanos míos amados, estar firmes y constantes, creciendo en la obra del Señor siempre, sabiendo que vuestro trabajo en el Señor no es en vano. Therefore, my beloved brethren, por lo tanto, mis amados hermanos, be steadfast. Estemos firmes. Hold on. Don't move out of the way. No te muevas del camino. Because your victory is in the Lord. Porque tu victoria está en el Señor. So what are you going to do this Sabbath day? ¿Qué vas a hacer este día I don't want you to leave this place. No quiero que te vayas de este lugar. Believe it that you cannot live a holy life. Creyendo que no puedes vivir una vida santa. Don't leave here believing that you cannot overcome. No te vayas de aquí pensando que no puedes vencer. Someone did that for you already. Alguien ya hizo eso por ti. And all he wants us to do is to trust him. Where is Sister Tina? Where is 
We went to Peru. Fuimos a Peru. And there is a mountain they call Rainbow Mountain. I believe Brother John, Brother James, Tiffany, we were in the same group. And we went very, very high. They went further than I. I believe John and James, they went further than I. I don't know what happened to them when they returned. But I can tell you what happened to me. I started to vomit. And I have diarrhea. In the plane I was vomiting. And I said in my heart. I will never go back to a country that has so many stones and mountains and so on. To climb those kind of mountains. Can I be the guide to, for that for somebody to climb that mountain with you? Would you ask me to guide you up on uh, Rainbow Mountain the next time we go to Peru? I will not be a good guide. I will be vomiting on you. You would have to need someone like James that went very hard. Do you know who went all the way for us? Jesus Christ. Follow him. He knew the way. He walked the way. He overcome the devil. The devil took him into a high mountain. He did all kinds of things to him. But he crushed the head of the serpent. And he wants to do the same in our life to crush Satan in our lives. May the Lord help us. Let everyone here this morning will have an experience with Jesus Christ. He is your what? He is your victory. I think the team said victory in Jesus. But I want you to say Jesus' victory is mine. And you have it now. Believe it. And let it become a part of your life. So when the devil tempt you this day, tell him you are victorious in Jesus Christ. May God bless you. May all of us have this victory every day of our lives. It's my prayer. Amen. Amen.